Today, we are going to discuss how to tune a multivariable controller in Simulink using the Control System Tuner app. We are going to tune a two loop autopilot which controls the pitch rate and vertical acceleration of an airframe. The airframe dynamics and autopilot are modeled in Simulink. Airframe dynamics model comprise of aerodynamics model, constant thrust input, and equation of motion to provide complete mathematical model of aircraft. The autopilot consists of two cascaded loops. The inner loop controls the pitch rate Q and the outer loop controls the vertical acceleration AZ in response to the pilot stick command vertical acceleration AZ reference. In this architecture, the tunable elements include the PI controller gains AZ control block and the pitch rate gain Q gain block. Our goal is to tune the autopilot to respond to input vertical acceleration as a reference with one second response time with minimal overshoot for a change in as a reference. In this example, we tune the autopilot gains for a steady state condition of a straight and level flight with constant velocity. To compare the response after tuning the controller, we will use Simulink Data Inspector. For that, first we need to select the signals to compare. In our case, signals are vertical acceleration as a reference, pitch rate Q reference, pitch rate Q, vertical acceleration as a, and delta fin. After selecting the signals, click on the lock signal in prepare submenu. The symbol on signals refer that our signals have been locked. Now let's run the model. As we ran the model, now click on the data inspector in the review results submenu. As we logged signals in previous step, we can see all five signals here. Now let's select appropriate layout to visualize signals. We also need to select appropriate signals for each window to visualize. As we can see, Untuned controller provides unstable response. Let's tune it using the control system tuner app from Simulink control design. In the control system tuner app, the operating point by default is set to model initial condition. We will change the operating point to a point where aircraft is operating at steady state. So we linearize the system at simulation time 20 seconds. For this purpose, we will select Linearize at option from operating point submenu. Here we specify simulation snapshot 20 seconds and press OK. Now we go to the tuning menu and select blocks to be tuned. Here from add blocks option, we select both blocks AZ control and Q gain and press OK. As we need to track the step command for one second response time, so we go to the new goal and select tracking of step commands. Here we select for appropriate signals. Our step response input is vertical acceleration as a reference and output is vertical acceleration as a. To add signals to the list, we select the appropriate signal from the model which gets added here to the list. As we do not have any loop open, so we will keep it blank and put a time constant here for one second. As we press OK here, the app plots current system response and the desired response. As we have put up all requirements here, it's time to tune the controller by clicking on the tune button. This tune button runs an optimization process in background to satisfy given requirements. We can also check the tuning report from right bottom corner. In the tuning report, closer the value we see is to 1, the better the tuning results. Here it is 0.46, which is quite good. Before updating blocks in our model, we check current gains by clicking on the respective blocks. Here we see the current gains for AZ control block are T as 0 and I as 0 0.001.
and Q gain is one here. Further, let's export the tuning parameters to the model by updating blocks. Let's recheck the blocks. Here we observe that gains have been updated. Now let's run the model and check the performance of the controller in the data inspector. In the data inspector, inspection window shows tuned controller response very well with input signal. Vertical acceleration AZ follows AZ reference without any overshoot. Here we also observe an undershoot at the initiation of command at simulation runtime 20 seconds which is due to the known minimum phase nature of the system. Pitch rate Q shows a mirror response which is due to the positive sign in the feedback. Also delta pin response is very smooth. It does not show any oscillations. That's how we tune a multivariable controller. For more information, please visit the link mentioned in the description for discussed example. Thank you.